and I chickened out and we killed the website. We never did it and stuff. And, you know, I regret that to this day. Welcome to More Than a Celebrity, where in each episode, we bring you the best and brightest of the business side of celebrity, both entrepreneurial minded and cause focused from Advertising Week's global stage covering the gamut of advertising, branding, social impact, and media in the moment. In this episode, we hear from Kevin Smith, an American filmmaker, actor, comedian, comic book writer, author, YouTuber, and podcaster. He became well-known with the low-budget comedy buddy films Clerks, which he wrote, directed, co-produced, and acted in as the character Silent Bob of stoner duo Jay and Silent Bob. Kevin wears many hats as a filmmaker, and has built himself a career that is manifold in all aspects of film and television. Advertising Week recently sat down with Kevin to discuss the pivots in his career and how he was able to tap into many different areas in the industry. We built this website where we're gonna let the audience fund this movie Red State that like we can't raise the budget for and stuff. And then someone wrote an article where they said, Kevin Smith is gonna beg for money for his next movie and I chickened out and we killed the website. We never did it and stuff. And, you know, I regret that to this day. That was a, a guttural reaction to like, oh my God, they don't want me to do this. And that wasn't they, that wasn't my audience. That was a piece. That was a, you know, a journal piece, a journal, a piece of journalism. It was one person's opinion. I should have done what I knew to be right, which was like the audience dictated, you should do this. And then Zach Braff did it a few years later with Kickstarter and stuff. And I remember being like, there you go, you missed opportunity. So I, I still haven't done that. I've, I've not turned to the audience to be like, uh, fund this art in a Kickstarter starter or Indiegogo way because I need the audience to eventually buy the art. So it feels really weird to be like, pay for it to get made and then also, you know, buy it when it's done. And they're like, no artist should ever put their own money into their own art. And I was like, look, I know that's conventional wisdom, but I did that at the beginning of my career, and that's why we're all having this conversation today. So I would love to bet on myself again. Are you kidding me? After 25 years of building Jay and Silent Bob into something, this is a sucker bet, man. Like, I'm gonna make money. Like, I, I'm not scared at all. So never mind meeting other people. As soon as we were done with the tour, all our equity investors were paid back, including the biggest equity investor there was on the flip. I was like, the next movie we're gonna do is Clerks 3. I'm gonna pay for it out of my own pocket, and then we're gonna tour this flick for a year straight. Because if we made what we made touring reboot for four months, you give me a year, man, I'm gonna clear $10 million without spending a dime in market. In the beginning, I only got involved in podcasting because I was like, you mean I could have a radio show of my own? I could be Howard Stern if I want. Now, literally everybody has a podcast. A kid comes out the womb, their parents put aside a domain name so they could do their own podcast one day. So I've watched it become the business that's come. You know, when, when they said, and Joe Rogan is gonna make 400 gazillion dollars for Spotify, I was like, I'm doing it wrong. If you work at being yourself or you work at, on something that means something to you, it's never work. You know what I'm saying? And as if you figure out how to make a living off of that, I didn't create this little uh, factoid, but I've heard someplace that in this economy for the last like five, 10 years, if you have a thousand people in an audience, a thousand people willing to buy whatever it is you're selling per month, quit your job. If you care about what it is you do, man, you don't have to be a billionaire. You don't have to even be a millionaire and stuff. You can make comfortable money and stuff. Just keep it to what you love. You'll never work a day in your life. I'm 50, I had a heart attack two and a half years ago and I don't look at it and I don't feel it. And that's because every day I get up and I'm, I do me for a living, which again, sounds very masturbatory, but I, I do something that makes me happy. Thank you so much for having me. Bye everybody. And that's a wrap for this episode of More Than a Celebrity. From Advertising Week's global stage, we hope you enjoyed this inspiring and forward-thinking interview with Kevin Smith. See you next time.